Welcome back to Terraforming Mars Solo with Genera Corp. Uh, let's see, the three cards I have <clears throat> are Black Polar Dust, Restricted Area, and Grass. And uh, so for the beginning, uh, we're sitting at 27 Mega Credits. <clears throat> Excuse me. Vestiges of the cold, I hate cold. But anyway, at the start of Generation 6, we're going to be drawing 1, 2, 3, 4 cards. We're going to look at them, we're going to decide if we want to spend 3 Mega Credits a card to keep them. Couple of city. Maximum 9% oxygen. I'm not even close to it. Don't think I'm going to even bother trying with cities. Designed microorganisms. <clears throat> it must be minus 14 or colder. Increase your plant production two steps. Ooh. That is pretty good. Think about that. Power infrastructure. You can spend any amount of energy to gain that many mega credits. Eh, don't think I'm going to be bothered with that. <clears throat> and fuel generators. Decrease your mega production one step. Increase your energy production one step. Oh, that's also pretty good. Everything keeps hammering my... So this would cost me six if I wanted to do it. Um, I think... I think I will spend the six to get those two cards all right five six that's going to leave me 21 mega credits i have to do some thinking now uh, to see what i want to do for this generation six action turn okay i've been doing some agonizing and thinking and what have you i am going to play designed microorganisms it's going to cost me 16 mega credits <clears throat> you must be uh 14 Minus 14 or colder, which we are. We're at minus 26. Not a problem. Uh, and so that cost me a lot, though. So that's only going to be leaving me with a total of 5 mega credits left. <clears throat> but we are going to increase plant production by 2. That is pretty awesome stuff. Uh, so we're going to go over to the production area and we're going to do that shortly. Not immediately, because I also want to play one more mega credit to play this card which is fuel generators uh, we're going to decrease our mega corp our mega production by one but we're going to increase energy by one so we're playing that one too all right so let's go to our production board and we're going to get two plant production minus one uh, mega credit and plus one energy all right so we only have four mega credits left here uh, it's pretty nasty but well we're not doing too badly all right we're going to increase plant production by two so that's going to make it four that's really good i like that we're increasing our energy production by one also up to four but we have to decrease our mega credits by one to minus two i don't know if that's going to hurt us or not we're not finished our turn yet, though, because I think I want to do the water splitting plant once more, for sure. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, we do have three energy in our energy area. So we are going to spend the three energy to increase oxygen one step. Let's go back to the main board and uh, we shall do that. All right, so we're going to increase oxygen from two to three. That's going to increase our mega credit, our terraform rating from 21 to 22. And I do believe now we can't do anything else. I don't have eight mega credits to do the aquifier pumping. This turn, I don't have 11 or 15 to play these cards. I think I am, though, going to get rid of the grass card for one mega credit leaving us with five i don't think i'm going to get to the grass cart i kind of want to do this one though because our temperature is so cold uh we really need to start bumping that up and it's nowhere near where it needs to be right now <clears throat> and so i do believe uh, i can't really do anything else i only have five mega credits i only have five plants and three heat so I really can't do anything else this generation so basically it's the end of the generation so we're gonna go to the production board and we're gonna do the production phase for generation six all right production time we are sitting at 22 
on the terraform rating but we're at minus two so we are going to collect 20 mega credits gives us 25 not great we have no steel no titanium we are going to collect four plants so that's pretty awesome we're really pumping out the plants now and four energy as well is also really darn good um and there was no energy left in there to go heat that's the first thing we should be doing and we have no heat production all right i do believe oh and we're going to take the of course uh token off of the water splitting plant so that's the end of generation six we're going to come right back here in a second and we're going to begin generation seven so at the end of this episode we're going to be halfway to terraforming mars and i don't know if we're halfway to doing what we need to do it's a pretty tough game uh, i think i got a bit of an engine going here but i have to do more yet so let's go to the main board and uh, we're going to begin generation number seven okay generation seven the cards we have left black polar dust restricted area pretty expensive we don't have that many mega credits we only have 25 but of course we're going to draw four cards off the top one two three four and we're going to see if we want to spend three mega credits for each card we want to keep hired raiders well there's no one to steal from, so the higher graders can go get hired by somebody else. Okay, optimal arrow breaking effect. When you play a space event, you gain three mega credits and three heat. Hmm, except I don't have one. I have, wow, I have large convoy though. Uh, I'll think about that one. Anti-gravity technology, 14. It needs seven science tags. I have one. <laughs> Sorry, anti-gravity. Not going to happen in this game. Large convoy. I like this one. But, wow. Brutal. You get to place an ocean tile, draw two cards, gain five plants, or add animals to another. That's not exactly incredible. Um, and it costs an awful pile of credits so this one i don't think i'm going to keep either hmm don't think i'm going to keep them either uh optimal arrow breaking i wonder if i want to bother with this one when you play any space event you gain three mega credits and three heat hmm that's going to cost me three to play i don't think i'm going to keep that one either wow bit of a dud for cards i think so now I'm going to have to scratch my brain. I have 25 mega credits, and I have to think about what it is I want to play for Generation 7. Okay, I've agonized and agonized over which one of these two cards I really want to play. Um, I think I'm going to play Black Polar Dust. It's going to cost me 15 mega credits, leaving me 10. Now, the unfortunate thing is my, uh, I get to place an ocean tile, so that's good. And then I'm going to decrease my mega, uh, mega credit production two steps and increase my heat production three. All right, so let's start by placing um, a water tile, which, of course, we want to do. Uh, where do I want to do? I think I want to place it... Oh man, I think I'm going to place it here on the Viking site because that's going to give me two cards. And of course, when you place a water tile, you increase your terraform rating. So I'm at 23. I get two cards for free. Now let's see what the two cards are. Something good, something good. Security fleet. Action. Spend one titanium to add one fighter resource to this card. Hmm. It's just a points card. It's pretty useless well well we can get rid of it for one mega credit so we're going to get rid of it and we get a mega credit for it all right what is this decomposers need three percent oxygen which we have and it says when you play a an animal plant or microbe tag including this attach a microbe to this card and it's another points card which again pretty useless we're just going to dump it for a mega credit 
leaving me with five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have twelve mega credits. All right, and with twelve mega credits, oh no, I think I better play another, another aqua fire card. Ooh. Anyway, we need to complete this. We all we did was we played, um, we played our water down. So now we need to minus two mega. Uh, credit production and plus three heat production. Let's go to our production board area and adjust those values. All right, so we are going to be going minus two to we're at minus four on our wow, our mega credit production. That's awful. However, we are going to increase heat production to three. We got to get our temperature up on this planet, or we're not going to make it. And that. Uh, plays our black polar dust card, so it is, uh, that's basically played and done with. And we still have uh, 5, 10, if I can count, we have 12 mega credits. I do want to do uh, a couple of things, obviously. Uh, we're going to spend three of these energy to do the water splitting plant, and then I'm going to use 5, 6, 7, 8 mega credits to do the action on the aquifer pumping. So I'm going to spend them right here so you see that I'm spending them. Now we're going to go to the action cards and do both of them. All right, we've paid the cost for our action cards. We're going to do this one. We're going to do this one. What does it mean? This one here, we're going to increase our oxygen one. And this one, we get, we spent eight and we get to place a water tile. So let's go to the main board and do that. All right, we're going to increase oxygen by one increases our terraform rating by one we get to place a water tile onto the board and uh, where do i want to put it i think i want to put it hmm i think i want to put it right here it gives me one plant and two mega credits and our terraform rating goes up one so one plant two mega credits we'll go back to the production area and deal with that. All right, so we're going to get one plant and two mega credits. So now we have six mega credits and we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten plants. That's all good. And I'm now going to spend eight of my plants to put down a greenery tile back to the main board to do that. All right, greenery tile time. This should be beneficial. We're going to put it right here. That's going to give us one plant. It's also going to give us two, four, six mega credits right on. So let's go to production. We're going to get one plant and six mega credits. All right. So we're going to get one plant. We're going to get six mega credits, which is pretty awesome stuff. Cause now we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. We have 12 mega credits which is really good because with 12 mega credits, I'm going to spend 511 of it to play our last card. All right, we spent the 11 mega credits for the restricted area. So we're costing 11. We're going to place this down. It just says place this tile. I think you can place it anywhere you want. So we're going to go ahead and do that. It's now going to become an action card. I have to find that special tile, which is this one. We get to place it down. Of course, we're going to get the benefit of where we place it. And we have no cards at all. <clears throat> but we, if we get one plant, then we're going to be able to put down another um, plant tile <clears throat> in the next episode. And I can't remember if I increased the oxygen. Ah, oh, damn it. <clears throat> when I put this one down. See, I've done this one twice. One, two, three, four. I think I'm at the right spot. So we're going to place this down. Oh, where are we going to place it? I'm going to place it right here on Pavonis Mons, which is going to give us a titanium and a plant. So let's go back to production board. We're going to get one titanium and one plant. All right, so we're going to get one plant and we're going to get one titanium. It's our first titanium of the game. It hasn't done us any good so far, but you never know. All right, I have one mega credit left. I can't do virtually anything else. 
And so I do believe that's the end of my uh, Generation 7 turn, unless I've screwed things up. I'll be leaving notes, of course, if I do. We really need to get our heat up. So we're going to be doing now the production phase. Uh, so we're basically taking our tokens off our action cards that we used. Mega credits. We're at minus 4, but we're at 25. So we're going to be 25 minus 4. We're going to get 21 mega credits. We have uh, no steel, no titanium. We have four plants, which is pretty awesome. Four plants. That gives us eight. We're going to be able to put another greenery tile out next generation. Oh, and of course, for keep forgetting, energy becomes heat. And we get four energy. So that's two, three. That's pretty good. And now we do have heat production. Three. That's also pretty darn good. Except we don't have quite enough to raise the temperature. And that's going to conclude Generation 7. And so we're going to end off. Uh, I'm going to move this marker up to Generation 8. So our next episode will be Generation 8 and 9. Let's go back to the main board and recap. Alright, so here we sit at the end of Generation 7. We're halfway finished the game. But I don't think we're halfway to terraforming Mars. We're only at 4 oxygen. We're still at minus 28 temperature. We do have five of our nine water tiles needed out, so we're getting very close to having enough water on the planet. And we're sitting at 22 mega credits for our next generation. Mm, I don't know. It's going to be close. This game always comes down to the wire, I find. We basically have seven more generations to pull it off. We have a lot of temperature to pump up, though. Don't know if we can do it. Oxygen, I am not too concerned about that. I think we can pull that one off and the water. It's just I think the temperature that's causing me a bit of an issue at the moment. I have to try to figure out how to get that increase. So thanks so much for watching along. This is Terraforming Mars Solo. I'm using the Genera Corp which is just Beginner Corporation and uh, trying to get nine water tiles out. Oxygen to 14 percent. Temperature to plus eight by the end of the 14th generation to win the solo game. So thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, your subscriptions and likes. Really appreciate it. Join me next time for Terraforming Mars. We'll be doing Generation 8 and 9.